Today I'm going to demonstrate a short tutorial on how to move your Outlook account to your new PC's Outlook account. This is my first, let me demonstrate my Outlook account. This is my Outlook account. I have calendar, contacts, tasks, notes, folder list, as well as my normal email. Now I'm going to go and open up an internet browser and go to movemyemail.com and click on their Outlook to Outlook product. I'm going to go ahead and purchase this and download and activate it on my computer. I've now downloaded and activated the software. I'm going to go ahead and run it. Now before I run it, if I'm going to run it right now, down below make sure that I have my Outlook closed, otherwise this transfer won't be able to access the Outlook accounts. I'm going to go ahead and click Start. It then lists the PST files or the Outlook account files that are on my system. I just have one. If you have multiple accounts, you can then click which ones you'd like to transfer or transfer all of them. Outlook to Outlook will then ask for which drive you'd like to save these to. The C and D drive on my computer are my internal hard drives as well as the I drive. The E drive is my CD or DVD drive. I can save it to there unless of course the size is bigger than my CD or DVD drive. For this tutorial I'm just going to save it to the J drive which is a USB drive my Outlook accounts are not very big, so they should have no problem saving to them. Okay, it's Outlook to Outlook is now ready to move all of my Outlook accounts to my new computer. Or to, sorry, to the jump drive. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. My Outlook account is not very big, so this shouldn't take it very long for it to transfer. If you're moving two to four gigabytes, or eight gigabytes, or more gigabytes than that, it will take a while be sure that you have the right size USB drive. Alright, before I close this, I'm going to go ahead and click finish, but let me check my USB drive to make sure that it's saved there. Okay, and I'm going to open up my USB drive, and it's saved there, ready to move over to my new computer. I'm going to go ahead and click finish, and then move my USB drive to the new computer and I'll then take you through the steps of importing the PST file or your Outlook account into your new PC's Outlook. Okay, I'm now on my new PC. I'm going to go ahead and open up Office Outlook and go to File, Import and Export. This will then ask me what I would like to import or export from please choose import from another from another program or file then click next it will then ask what type of file you're attempting to import scroll down and choose the personal folder file .pst then click next the file then asks me to browse to which file I'll be importing I'm going to go to computer, to the USB drive, and to the Outlook accounts that I've saved there. If you're trying to transfer more than one Outlook account, they will all be listed here, but you'll have to import them one at a time. So I'll go ahead and select this Outlook account, click open. Then it then provides me three options, to replace my duplicates, to allow duplicates or to not import duplicates. I'm going to go ahead and choose replace. If you're overly cautious then I would recommend choosing allow duplicates. You will then have to go through and delete any duplicates that are found in your Outlook account. So I'm going to select replace duplicates and click next and then click finish. Okay, Outlook has now created a personal folders folder over here on the left side. I'm going to expand that and go to the inbox. And these are the emails that it's just imported in from my USB drive. If you have more than one PST account, they will create a different, different personal folders here. 
you'll have three or four of these for you to go through. As for me, I'll just double check everything, make sure I have everything in there. And then my transfer is complete and I've imported all my Outlook account data into my new Outlook account.